Why is not going into manual mode? Why is not letting me go to manual mode? This is the first time I've flown this drone since I updated it to the latest firmware. Not sure that has anything to do with that. If I can go to manual mode, this video is pretty much worthless. I think I may know why. Since I did the upgrade, I think I may need to go in and reactivate manual mode. Gotta go tutorial. But I can't remember. So I'm gonna stop why now. Let me go on YouTube and figure out how to unlock manual mode. What's up everybody and thank you for watching this video. I hope that you are going to enjoy it. Today we are checking out some new aftermarket props for the DJI Avatar. Uh, those props are made by HQ Pops. If you don't know who HQ Pop is, HQ Pop has been one of the main pop maker for DUI drone. So they have a pretty good pedigree as far as pop goes. And those particular ones come in three different versions. Uh, this is the three-bladed version. You also have a four-bladed version and a five-bladed version. Now, I went with the three-bladed version for three specific reasons. Uh, the first one is that I wanted to see how much of a different flat characteristic uh, they're going to provide me compared to the previous aftermarket props that I tried. Uh, those are made by Drone Tech. The pretty good props, and I do like the orange color. It make your drone very easy to find in case of a crash. But those props, in my opinion, uh, end up being the carbon copy of the original DJI Avatar props. Uh, as far as flag characteristics, they are very similar to the Avada. I could really tell any difference between those two props. So that's why I decided to get a three-bladed one. And I know with this prop, I should be getting a different type of flat characteristic or flat feeling. And looking at the prop very closely, you can see that they have a very different form factor. The three bladed prop are much bigger as far as blade goes. Another reason I also wanted to go with the three bladed prop is that in general, three bladed prop should be a little more efficient than a five bladed props. That's just the way the physics work. Two bladed props are more efficient than three bladed props. Three bladed props are more efficient than four bladed props, and on and on and on. So I want to see how much flat time or extra flat time I'll be getting with those, or maybe I may be getting less flat time. And the last reason I want also to see how much noise this drone gonna be making with those props. Cine whoop make a lot of noise, and we all know how noisy the avatar is. So I want to see if I'm going to be making a little more noise or it's going to be a little more quieter. So uh, enough talking. Uh, let me take this guy out. I haven't flown it yet. The only thing I did was just uh, hover in my garage. So this is going to be my first experience flying this drone. All right, guys, for this part of the video, I am going to be switching to my GoPro because I have to use my phone for remote ID. So that's why the little change. Okay, so got manual mode activated. I had to look up a video on YouTube and I think I check out UA Visual. I done this thing like once, so I didn't I didn't remember to reactive manual mode. So apparently when you do a big upgrade on Avada, you need to reactivate manual mode. So now let's see how this thing's gonna fly. Still as noisy, driving all the dog crazy. Let's try a little punch out. Okay. Hmm. That's, I mean, get to it. Yeah. I mean, one thing about Avatar, we all know it, it's not the most acrobatic drone. It's like, is it? Actually, flying pretty good. What I can say is that the speed a little looser, if that's a thing. Ooh. Not bad. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do a split S. So 
yeah, I would say that speed a little more looser. <laughs> Let's see how much speed we're gonna be getting here. Okay, I mean definitely it feels much looser. It feels a lot more. A little more responsive so i say if you want to get a your drone to be slightly looser no no bad at all to get a power loop on this guy you need to let's see get some speed <laughs> yeah the point about the power loop on this guy, I mean, I'm not the greatest flyer. I'm pretty sure someone who's much better power than me can get it. But I think the problem is, when you do a power loop, after when you've done your loop, you gotta have enough power to catch the drone. The drone has enough power to catch itself. And I feel like the Avada with the small motor, that's always seemed to be an issue. It's just hard for the Avada to catch itself. Now, if you're a very skillful pilot, you may pull it off, but every time I try to do a power loop with this guy, I end up having a bunch of pop wash. So now let's slow down and just fly the way it's supposed to be intended. I mean, it's flying good. Only been flying for five minutes. No bad at all. I thought it was going to be making a lot less thrust since we went from a five blade prop to a three blade prop. But I would say it's still making enough thrust to get you out of trouble in case you need. And it's flying good. It is flying good. That's the thing about HQ pops. They've been making pops for years. So when it comes to making pops, they kind of know what to do. Not bad at all. I mean, you got control. Let's see. Have to get a little more challenging. All right. Now that we are done with the little flight, uh, let's see how much noise those pop make. And just a warning, guys, it's about to get pretty loud. No, let's answer our last question. Are those pop more efficient than the drone tech pop or the DJ Avatar pops? Well, folks, it is very much impossible for me to give you an accurate difference in flight time between all those different pops. Uh, if I decide to fly around my house and record the time, there is so many variables that I don't have control over, such as uh, wind speed, uh, speed of the drone, the attitude of the drone, or the path the drone will be taking. So I cannot uh, replicate those same conditions for all three different 
flight so what i end up doing is i uh, decided to do a over test in my garage uh, that kind of negates some of the factors and this is not a scientific result guys so take the result with a little bit of grain of salt but those are the findings i found as far as difference in overtime between those three different pops Right, so let's conclude this video they are pretty good props they're very cheap uh they cost about three bucks they cost less than three dollar so it's not like it's gonna be breaking your bank as far as flying goes it is slightly a little more responsive than the drone tech uh, props and definitely a little more responsive than the dji avatar original props but it's not that much drastic i would say if you want to really get a different a more drastic feel on how the drone fly i say you're gonna have to go with the axi models I actually do have a couple of those but i've just been too lazy to put them on the drone as far as noise go the hq three blade pop are definitely a lot more noisier you've seen uh with the decibel meter but the noise they make is different than the one from the five blade pops the five blade pops have a much high pitch sound compared to the three bladed pops well, that'll be it for this video and i will see you on the next one thank you for watching guys and again hit the like button and subscribe